Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, July 30th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, today's a Friday, so we need to be on our toes for misdirection. Alright, let's start with one across. Peak climbed in the 2018 Oscar winning documentary Free Solo. Oh yeah, um, I watched this. This is about Alex Honnold. He was climbing El Capitan, right? Yeah, in Yosemite. Nice. Yeah, that movie is... Uh, that that just freaks me out so much, <laughs> watching someone climb a mountain with no safety equipment. Oh man, if you want sweaty palms, that's, that's the movie to watch. Okay, let's see if we can build off of that, off of these downs here. First name that reversed is part of a church. Uh, I want to say maybe... Is it apps? That's a part of a church. But that would be E-S-P-A, Espa? I don't really know if that's a first name. I guess it could be. Hmm, maybe it's Nave instead. That's also part of a church. And that would be Evan, right? That's much better, okay. Nice. Blank Rose, song from the Music Man. I really don't know the Music Man. Maybe we can actually get this next long one here since it starts with a V. Catholic University outside Philadelphia. Hmm. What are universities that we can think of that start with a V? Villanova? That's a university, right? Let's see if I can spell it. Is it like that? Ooh, those letters look really good too. All of these letter combinations look great. All right, let's proceed assuming that that's a correct answer there. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's Lily Rose. Iron, EG. And Iron is a club in golf, yeah. Nice, okay. Kind of cast. Hmm. Well, you can cast things in aluminum. No, that's too long though. Hmm. A nice touch could be a pat. That's a friendly touch. Maladroit? <laughs> it's not just a Weezer album. Uh, it also means you're not good at something or you're inept, right? Okay, bull mascot of the Houston Texans. Hmm. I don't know, is it Toro? Because that's the word for bull, right, in Spanish? That's just a guess, though. I don't actually know that. Fend off could be avert, maybe? And we've got a really long one down here. Ooh, nice. It's about the wire. Unit for several detectives on the wire. Um... Hmm. I wonder, is it the Narc Squad, maybe? Yeah, because they're all kind of going after drug dealers, right? That would make sense. The Wire is so good if you haven't seen it. Um, okay, so a cheating sort could be an adulterer. Yes. So it's not Lily. Hmm. Hall's Inn could be Nabs. So it's Lita Rose? Boy, I never would have guessed that. Okay. I guess it's maybe someone's name? Kind of cast. Maybe it's an all-star cast. They're talking about a cast for like a movie or something, right? That's great. Okay. Half an exchange could be a tit or a tat. Because a tit for tat is an exchange, right? So maybe this is... Okay, there's no A's in Roy G. Biv, so this is probably going to be indigo, right? Because Roy G. Biv is all the colors of the rainbow. Indigo. That kind of reminds me of our rainbow theme that was on a Sunday a couple of months back, yeah. It was the indigo girls, right? Okay. Cozy seating for outdoor reading. Could it be a porch swing? It's a very cozy spot. That's a nice piece of fill, I like that. Designs, ooh, it's kind of ambiguous. There's a lot of possibilities there. Start of the day for many people. Is this a time? 
Hmm. I wonder if it's not a porch swing. Maybe it's a porch chair. Just because this seems like it should be a number. I feel like it should be something AM, but the H looks weird too. Hmm. And the S in swing worked better here. Man, I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Let's just leave it blank for now. It's found around a crime scene. I really want that to be police tape. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Maybe the narc squad would use police tape sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so this still works with swing. So maybe swing was right originally. Fashion designer Mark. Isn't that Mark Echo? I think it's like that, right? You know what? I'm going to put swing back in. Um, look how nice those letters are working. Yeah, that's got to be right. Defeat soundly. Is it spank? Yeah, that is a word you can use to mean defeating soundly. So could be ergo, like cogito ergo sum. Uh, grinder. Is this about a sub sandwich? Grinder, like a hero? No, it's about a tooth. It's a molar, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Fingers crossed. Ooh, we get a bracket clue. Okay, so... This is, I guess you're literally crossing your fingers here. And if you did that, you would say, I hope. Yeah. This is, this is a little weird because they added this exclamation mark here. This almost makes it seem like a phrase, whereas brackets are usually like nonverbal clues. I feel like this might've been better without the um, exclamation mark. Yeah. Designs could be aims, maybe? Yeah, what are your designs? What are your aims? Start of the day for many people. Hmm. A shower, oh man, it's not a time. Okay, yeah. And then ancient symbols of royalty is asps. Yeah, that was the first clue of the day a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Okay, so shower. And then his number six was retired by the Yankees in 2014. Hmm. I wonder if it's not squad. Uh, because this Q looks really weird. I feel like that should be Joe Torre. He was like a longtime manager of the Yankees. Okay, so it is Narc something. Hmm. What two can mean? Uh, is it just two? <laughs> I don't think so. WT is very bad. What else can it mean? Hmm. Interesting. That's a weird clue. Word with bar or pipe. Hmm. It's not hotel, huh? Fame. Could that be renown? That's a nice word there. Okay, can we build off maybe over here? Like sun bears and sloth bears. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't heard of either of these. Is this going to be kind of like a taxonomic distinction? Um, it can't be avian, right? They're not birds. I mean, I guess it's possible those are named for birds. That would be really weird. I don't think it's apian. They wouldn't be bees either. They take cards or cash. That has to be ATMs, right? Because you can deposit cash in an ATM. Boy, it's starting to look like avian. Is it possible there's birds that are called sun bears? Maybe. Oniomania, noun. The uncontrollable desire to... Hmm. Oniomania. It looks like onion at the beginning. Is it about crying? Because you cry when you cut onions? I don't know. I'm making a lot of weird leaps of logic there. Let's leave that for now. Last straw on family feud. Hmm. So when you're guessing on family feud, 
you kind of get three strikes, right? Before you're out of the game. So maybe it's just a third strike. Yeah. They managed to make a third strike, not about baseball. Okay. So this is, hmm. I was thinking maybe it would be weep, but that's not looking right now. Blank jeans. I guess that could be mom jeans, right? Those have definitely come back into fashion lately. Many a resort on the Dead Sea. I guess, is that just a spa maybe? Is it shop? Aniomania, I guess maybe it is. Is it Asian? But this would be two eyes in a row. Oh, maybe it is though, because this is an equivalent phrase. That seems likely, and it could be, I imagine so, right? Okay, so maybe they're just types of bears that are in Asia. Okay, <laughs> that seems a lot more likely than them being birds or bees. Resident of a certain Ivy League town. Hmm, there's only so many Ivy League towns. Um... I think Cornell is in Ithaca, right? So maybe it could be an Ithacan? Yeah. All right, nice. That's great, okay. Um, so maybe this is just narcotics. Yeah, as the unabbreviated term, okay. Um, maybe this is too, as in like T-O-O, -O, like in text speak. Yeah, that makes sense, okay, and then Hookah bar and hookah pipe. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Southern cocktail made with creme de menthe, creme de cacao, and cream. Wow, this seems very rich. Um, it looks like it's going to be grasshopper. I've heard of this as a cocktail. I didn't know what was in it. It makes sense though, right? Because it would be green because of the creme de menthe. Yeah. Okay. Check. Hmm. This is very ambiguous here. Like, maybe it's a la? Like you're doing something in the style of? The spy in, the spy who came in from the cold. Hmm. I don't know if I know that one. I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't know who the spy would be. Speak in a husky voice? So this is wordplay. So maybe you're speaking in a voice that a husky dog would speak in. So maybe that would be a bark. Yeah. Yeah, very clever there. Check. Oh, okay. So that could be your tab, right? Like at a bar. The tab, the check. Okay, nice. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Is it Alec? Ruin could be a wreck, yeah. It's just Alec? I have no idea who this is talking about. Hmm. Crow say. Is this about the bird? Or is this about like bragging, that type of crowing? Hmm. Hair piece. Could that just be a strand maybe, a strand of hair? They're not talking about a toupee. That's pretty good. Response to unfair criticism. I mean, is it just that's a lie, possibly? Hmm, maybe. This could be gloat, right? Yeah, that's a kind of crowing. Fall, fall. I guess they're talking about autumn. Um, maybe it's just leaves. Those are falling in the fall. Many a... Demoiselle de Honneur. Oh my god, okay. Um, I have no idea. This is French. I wonder if it's an Ami? Like a female friend? Let's see. This is a cross clue, so we want this to be AM, right? A long way? Many? No? Miles? Away? Ooh, that would work, right? Boy, being able to put those first two letters in really helped see that. Miles away. Let's just confirm that here. 
over-the-counter name for naproxen. Yeah, that's probably a leave, right? It's a pain reliever. Change hands in a way, and this is wordplay. Hmm. Change hands. So it can't be about cards, right? Oh no, maybe it can because the term to change hands means to just change possession, right? Like give something to someone else that changes hands. So maybe it is about cards somehow. Hmm. I still don't really know what that's going to be. Nothing to write home about should be so-so. What about this long one? Result of multiple paper cuts. And this is more wordplay. Um, hmm. So this is not about wounds on your hand. Paper cuts. Hmm. It almost feels like a way is wrong. Hmm. Jared who played the Joker in Suicide Squad? That was Jared Leto, right? Hmm. Is this reset? Is it miles afar? Because this almost looks like it wants to be final, right? Hmm. And then this could be reset. Like resetting a clock? That would make sense. I do like that. That would be hands on a clock. You would change the hands. I don't know what this is going to be, though. And miles afar seems like such a weird phrase. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. Um, hmm. Situation room group. I think that should be like the National Security Council, maybe? One might be seen by a bank. This definitely feels like wordplay. I wonder if it's a riverbank. Is it like a canoe, maybe? That would leave us two A's in a row, though. Hmm. Translation of some loud yawns? Hmm. Is it about like being bored or wanting to indicate you want someone to move on with the conversation somehow, maybe? Not last. Is this about not lasting, like it doesn't last a long time? Or you didn't come in last in a race? Hmm. Wait, just listen. An equivalent phrase. I wonder if lie is wrong because we're having trouble building out from here. I'm gonna take that out. And it might not be A either. Hmm. Because that would help. Maybe it is canoe here. And then... Hmm. Paper cuts. I wonder if it's about like cuts at a newspaper, like they're cutting staff. I don't know. Blank Seal Waterproofing Treatment Brand. Oh man. I don't think I've heard of that. Can we build down from here, hopefully? Blasphemous. Hmm. Boy, I don't know about that one either. PETA Pet Peeves. Um, hmm. This could be a lot of things. Any kind of mistreatment of animals would fit here. That's a lot of options. Hmm. Void. This could be cancel. This could be like an area where there's nothing. Hmm, that's very ambiguous too. Pasta topper. Hmm, is it parm maybe? That's abbreviated. There's not really an indication of abbreviation here. Lend a few bucks to say. Hmm, this almost feels like misdirection to is it not about money hmm army corps of engineers project oh man is it a dam i don't know 
what coxswains do. They sit at the front of a rowboat and kind of keep all the rowers in rhythm, right? Uh, I don't know how you would describe that. They shout. Oh man. Boy, this last little corner is really, really hard. Disaster Relief Org? Is that FEMA? Yeah. Is it like Federal Emergency Management Administration? It's, I think it's something like that. Uh, <laughs> I really want this to be like Final Issue or something. Hmm. Not last. Come in third? <laughs> no, not quite. Okay, this should be hear me out, right? Wait, just listen. So it's not parm. That's good. Okay, hear me out. Good. All right, we got a little bit of a toehold here and confirms a lot of the kind of provisional answers. That's good. Hmm, I still don't know about this though. Maybe void could be veto? Yeah, if you veto something, you're voiding it, right? Oof, that's hard, okay. Um, maybe pasta topper could be a ragu. That's a type of pasta sauce, right? And then, hmm. This should be plural, right? What in the world? I don't think they'd be against DVRs. Hmm. Maybe this is spot? Yeah, if you spot someone money, you're lending it to them. Okay, so there wasn't really a misdirection there. Okay. I wonder if this is not veto. Okay, I think I made a little bit of a breakthrough here. Maybe Coxwain's in addition to shouting to keep the team in rhythm. Maybe they also steer the ship. Um, and then that could be final draft. Yeah, okay, so once you're done editing your paper, it's the final draft. Um, that's rash? That doesn't seem quite right. This should be I need a nap, right? Um, so it's not veto, okay. And then maybe this is that's rich. <laughs> okay, I guess that's right, okay. Yeah, like you can't believe someone's saying something, you say that's rich. So not last could be come and go, oh my goodness, okay. And then void could be undo, okay. And Peter Pet Peeves are definitely furs, yes. That's very accurate, good, okay. And then this could be profane. That is blasphemous. Okay, so that gives us snow seal. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Oh, jeez. Okay, we have something wrong still. Oh no, all right, let me see if I can track it down and I'll get back to you when I find it. Ooh, I wonder if this is our mistake here. Um. I wonder if Ithakin is spelled differently. Cause we didn't even look at this clue. Blank the Exhorter, character in Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man. I wonder if it's Ithakin with an A, and then that would make this Rass. Let's see if that is our mistake. Oh man. Yeah, that's really hard. Boy, you have to know how to spell Ithaca. Yeah, man, I grew up in Western New York and I still spell this wrong all the time. Wow, it's Ithaca, not Ithaca. Whew, that is tricky. Very dicey cross there. Um, but I think overall, I enjoyed this puzzle a lot. This last corner gave us so much trouble. I don't know why, it's not like, there's nothing unfair in here. It's just, yeah, it was just clued really difficultly, I guess. There wasn't even a lot of misdirection, though. Hmm. Like, all of this makes sense. 
Huh. Weird. I don't know why this was so hard for us. I guess we didn't know this. I didn't know coxswains actually steered the ships in addition to keeping time. Yeah, that's interesting. There's a lot of fun fill in here. You get El Capitan, Villanova, Ithaca. You kind of got a lot of like college stuff. That's a nice little mini theme. Grasshopper is a great long piece of fill here. This was a nice wordplay clue. Yeah, after we finally got it. And then there was kind of a police mini theme also with narcotics and police tape. I liked this. This was a really nice misdirection clue too. This is, I guess, a little dicey here. I guess maybe we should be expected to know how to spell Ithaca. <laughs> but yeah, I guess, I don't know. Maybe if someone from Western New York still has trouble with it, it's a little too hard. But I think overall, this is a very strong, themeless Friday puzzle. And I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. All right, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, this Saturday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.